New into stock, we have a Vauxhall Insignia 2 litre CDTI SE. It's a five door, it's 2015, 15 plate. Um, it's done 47,490 miles. And the fuel economy is urban 39.2, extra urban 67.3, um, combined is 53.3, and uh, a nought 60 time of 9.6 seconds. Top speed of 130 miles per hour out of a 161 brake horsepower engine. Uh, road tax, six months, 77 pounds, 12 months, 140, um, and it's MOT'd until the 29th of April, 2019. Really nice car, well specified, nice to drive, pretty economical, and uh, plenty of room in it. Um, it's finished in uh, gray metallic. I'm not exactly sure of the, the color name. I'll, I must remember to look it up when I get back. Alloy wheels, uh, 246, seven spoke. It's got uh, tinted windows with chrome surrounds. Rear wash wipe. Tailgate with load cover, split folding rear seats, and the rear seats are kind of uh, a 60-40 design, so they both fold down independently of each other. Bags of room, bags of room. That's, you can load in as far as that. I've got, I've got plenty of stuff in already and there's still bags of room. Two camera bags, a couple of coats, various other things. There's, there's still room to get a couple, two or three more suitcases. So bags of room in it. Plenty of room in the back. Uh, enough for certainly four people in comfort. Five people at a, a bit of a squeeze along this back seat, but it's uh, sitting in the middle there, just a bit higher up and uh, sat on vinyl. It's uh, a roomy car. And I've got the seat right on the way back as well, which isn't making it any easier. Got a proper key, remote central lock-in. Um, we've also got two keys uh, present with the car. Has air conditioning. Now, service history. We've got one stamped, let's see. Sorry, two stamps in the book. All right, uh, 36,577 miles. That's the 20th of September, 2016 at uh, Gosh, some Vauxhall dealer in Scotland, which I can't quite read there. I'm able to read that after when I magnify that up. And then on the 22nd of the 9th, 2017 at 43, 6.79. Um, Godsman tyres. Let's see, we've had some tyres fitted. And uh, that's the that was the service there, forty three six seven nine, and we've done forty seven thousand five hundred and forty six miles now. So uh, not really ready for a service, but we'll get a, get a check over before it comes out. Let's turn the aircon on then. It's automatic. I'll just take you for a ride in it. need to get a bit further away there we go we've got height and reach adjustable steering wheel get that done before I set off electric door mirrors the steering wheels multifunction with cruise control on the left and your uh, audio controls on the right just uh, Test that driver's door mirror that's working. Yep, so is that rear windows. Yep, all the windows working. 
Now really nice cars to drive these, very economical, very comfortable seats as well. It's, uh, I could just find where to put this seat back a bit. Got Bluetooth hands-free, and it's not immediately obvious the uh, the hands-free. And you've also got Bluetooth audio streaming. I'll show you how to do that when we get back. Um, we've got piano black insets to the gear tunnel, the dash, and the door cards, and also these aluminium finishing trims on the steering wheel, again on the door cards and round the gear selector. alloy wheels, tinted windows, the automatic box if you slot that uh, the gear selector across you can use it as a manual like so if you so desired it looks like it's got hill hold as well um, electronic parking brake which as most people know I'm not a big fan of I prefer something that you can pull on and then pull it on a bit more just to make sure you're not going anywhere. And cup holders here with a little uh, little door over the top, keeps them out of the way. And, uh, it also, it can get a little bit unsightly if you drink as much coffee as me and it spills. Oh, yeah. Now why would you do that? Nice turn of speed, nice and smooth. Probably going a little bit too fast there. Very warm today as well. Um, as I say, you, you uh, I, I promise I didn't line that uh, track up beforehand. It's just playing through the Bluetooth off my iPhone. It's uh, on the road again. Plenty of luggage space in these, and um, the back seats fold down. Turn that off so you two don't give me a copyright strike. You have bags of room in the back, a load cover. Um, if you need any more, you can always fold the seats down and the split 60 40. So uh, if you've got a long item, you can load it through and still get either two passengers on one side or one on the other. I used to work for Vauxhall in the, gosh, a long time ago, um, in the, well it, it became Vauxhall in the late 80s, before that I worked at an Opel dealer, but uh, Vauxhall and Opel, which were General Motors dealers, amalgamated, and uh, we ended up selling Vauxhalls, which at the time was our sworn enemy. And uh, the Cavalier, that was a great car, it was an Opel Ascona really. And uh, they carried on taking the Opel models and just adding some individual touches to them, which to be fair, I, I never used to like them either. Uh, then came the Vectra and uh, they reckon Jeremy Clarkson single-handedly destroyed Vectra sales. I think he did a... Well, he did a, a test on one, or a walk round, and he was quiet for seven minutes. Uh, that was perceived to be a, a negative thing, whereas me, I think if anything can keep Jeremy Clarkson quiet for seven minutes, and it, when, when he can't complain any, about anything, it's got to be a great car. This, this is a great car. Well, they've always been great cars. They, they're kind of, they are, they're boring, but there's nothing you can say isn't good about them. Um, if you want a car to get you from A to B in comfort, um, then I don't think you can get much better. Value for money. Just 
try the cru cruise control when we get on the motorway. Hopefully it's uh, not blocked again. I've chosen to go on the M6, which is usually disastrous. We've got plenty of fuel in this. Climate controls here. The radio controls in your Bluetooth settings. The motorway looks to be moving freely. So that's the on switch there on the right hand side. On, click down to set, and then you can alter your speed by either pressing up on that, we'll just take it to 70 miles an hour. Um, this chap, I am indicating, but he doesn't really want to give me any room. So there we go, 70 miles an hour. We are doing 2,000 revs exactly, nice and quiet, no, uh, no untoward noises anywhere. That's, uh, change the track using these controls here and uh, you've got your volume control there yeah, we don't want any of that Michael car there's there's not a whole lot to say I can't criticize it in any way I've driven loads of them um, I, I like them always have done I think they drive every bit as good as um, other cars that um, that cost a lot more. Oops. There you go, front centre armrest, you've got a USB in, auxiliary in. I'm pretty sure they're Isofix child fastening points in the back, child seat fastening points. Handles beautifully. Steering's just about right, not too heavy, not too light.
pretty good looking car as well. box is extremely good just changing down there as I came around the corner a rev counter on the left there fuel gauge top in the middle left Um, coolant temperature then your rev counter in the center you've got an information panel at the moment it's telling me I've got 163 miles range instantaneous fuel readout miles per gallon uh, underneath that what the cruise is set at if you chose to resume which again a simple thing like that's a, a pretty good idea Uh, trip counter average miles per gallon there it's showing 41.3 reset that that's uh, the car has been ticking over on the, uh, the car pot while I've been photographing it so that will have brought the miles per gallon down a little bit Life there, it's got tyre pressure monitor. According to that, there's a discrepancy in the tyres, which we'll have to check out. It just needs blowing up. A timer, average miles per hour. And then you can change to audio, select that, showing you uh, which phone's playing and the track that's playing, Madonna. Really good audio system. got phone info or settings into settings change the units speed warning info pages so really really good specification power socket there
everything's really easy to use right to hand you can see the your indicators there and your your wipers on the right over the steering wheel which is a, a big criticism I usually have just check the, uh, the wipers yep wipers are fine rear wash wipe yeah liquid spraying out that's that's good too the wiper switch is in the end of the stalk there Here we are back at the garage. Okay, I'll just show you how to delete a mobile from the Bluetooth system in this Vauxhall Insignia. From any screen, hit the home button. into settings navigate to Bluetooth using this thumb wheel you've got pair device Bluetooth settings and device management device management Barry's iPhone and you've got pair delete drop connect so this button here corresponds to delete delete you've requested Barry's iPhone 10 to be deleted once deleted it cannot be used in the vehicle unless it's paired again so yeah that's fine that's it gone okay I'll just show you how to uh, pair a mobile to the Bluetooth audio unit in this Vauxhall Insignia uh, first of all we make sure Bluetooth is on so on then we go to this house symbol or the, the home button click that turn the thumb wheel to phone click phone it's saying manage phones or pair so we want to pair there's there's no uh, phone in the memory at the moment it's brought up Vauxhall insignia there and it's saying it's giving a pin but when you pair like this it gives you just a pass key to match so that says 935268 pair Starting to pair Barry's iPhone with pin number 935, yeah, we, we want to do that, so click yes. I don't want it to allow my contacts and favourites to sync, but you will. I won't be using the car again. And, and that's, that's it successfully paired. And it's showing there. So, another good thing with this system is that if we go into your iTunes or if you go into your iTunes click on I'll just go back there the red triangle and the three red circles you can see there it says Vauxhall Insignia if it doesn't say anything there just click on that um, perhaps that's you only see that symbol so click on that just make sure Vauxhall Insignia is selected go back to your tunes hit play now then, if I go to media, it's showing Barry's iPhone there. Turn that up. Yep, another feeling. So that's it, that's, uh, that's how you stream audio through there.